these movies back for another video. And today, some pickups from a charity shop. So yeah, I went to my local charity shop. Um, the one that does uh, five for a pound or 25 pence each. So uh, yeah, great price prices. Um, so yeah, I managed to pick up five titles. So we're gonna have a look at those today. Okay, so the first one is a Blu-ray of Star Trek The Wrath of Khan, but this is the director's cut. Uh, now I do own all the Star Trek films here on Blu-ray, um, including obviously including The Wrath of Khan, but it doesn't come with the director's cut. So this one does. Um, now if I turn it on the back, it shows you sort of all the special features and you get the theatrical and the director's cut on this one. So yeah, it's really, you know, great to get this, you know, it's priced up at 25p, the disc there, um, or, you know, it was in the uh, five for a pound deal. So brilliant. Yeah, really happy with that pickup. And the next, all the rest of DVDs. So the next one I got was The Evil Dead 2, um, starring Bruce Campbell. And uh, now AJ, uh, over at AJ's Movie Place, sort of one of his favourite actors, and... Uh, yeah, I don't have the Evil Dead films. Um, there's not really a franchise that I'm that interested in, but um, to get it for 20p, I thought, why not? You know, um, I don't mind paying that for it. <clears throat> so I know it's quite highly regarded film, you know, franchise, this one. Um, but we've got the disc there. And it also comes with a, a little poster. Um, one of these, it looks like just a little advert thing, but when you open it up it's actually for Kate Beckinsale um, Whiteout so yeah it's quite cool that um, to have a little actual sort of movie poster in there I don't have that film so uh, I have to have on the lookout for that one but yeah it's um, it's got a few little extras in there so uh, yeah I'll get around to watching this one at some point um, I know this is kind of like the same story as the first Evil Dead um but kind of it was a little bit more tongue in cheek i suppose this one that led on to the armor darkness which is more of a comedy isn't it but um but yeah 20p you can't go wrong then the next one hot fuzz uh part of the cornetto trilogy um starring simon Pegg and nick frost now i've never seen this um i've watched um Shaun of the Dead, couldn't think of the name of it, yep, um, and I've not seen The World's End either, but apparently this one is supposed to be the best of the trilogy, so yeah, looking forward to it, uh, it's a two disc edition, and then on the back shows you all the bonus features, so yeah, looking forward to watching this one, do like these two, so I enjoyed Shaun of the Dead, so I'm sure this will be a good uh, good watch as well. Next pick up, Phone Booth. Now this is a really good film. Um, obviously all set with um, Colin Farrell inside the phone booth. And again, you know, 20p, you can't go wrong, can you? Um, a few little extra special features on there. Disc, say so all the discs on these are great, look in great shape and uh, it's quite nice. It's got sort of matching artwork behind here. Always like that with DVDs. Um, you've got chapter listings, uh, scene selections, whatever on the other side. So yeah, Phone Booth, another good little thriller. And then the last of the five for a pound, Night of the Living Dead. <clears throat> uh, the George A. R Romero original classic. Uh, it says it's in colour, uh, but actually you've got a black and white and a colour version of this film. Um, now again, <clears throat> I'm not sure whether I've actually seen this one. I've seen a lot of the um, Night, um, Day of the Dead and Land of the Dead, but I don't actually ever remember seeing the original. So again, for 20p, I thought, why not? So, another nice little stack there for a pound. I say it's a great little charity shop this where I go um, so I left it uh, a good few weeks um, to go in again and I went in there and absolutely had loads loads of DVDs and a, a few Blu-rays sprinkled in there as well 
um, you know, and you know, it's going to a good cause as well. Um, so um, it's one of the local charity shops. It's not like one of the Oxfam's or anything like that. It's just a small one. So I quite like that. That the, the sort of you know the money's going to a a, a local um, charity. So yeah, uh, you know, it's a great place to go and find some little bargains like this. Anyway, thanks very much for watching the video, guys. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye now.